What's going on guys? I wanna talk about the hobo sexual revolution that is about to take America by storm. If you are a stable person with some groceries in the kitchen, your own car, your own place, and you live alone, you might about to be having some company. I've been doing an inventory of folks that I know that have moved back home with their parents, and it is a lot of people who have moved back home with their parents. However, there is a predator out there. It is the hobo sexual. I'm about to say something. A lot of fat chicks about to get a nice dude. Let me say that again. A bunch of fat chicks, she got some chicken, she got some potatoes and carrots and stuff up in the kitchen. She know how to cook and she got a good stable government job and she living by herself. The hobo sexual gonna be creeping over there. This is something I saw and this ain't nothing new. It's just about to get much larger than it's ever been. The hobo sexual is a man or a woman who is financially pressed that will woo, seduce, and make you feel so special so they can live with you. Let me, let me just keep it a buck. Living with a fat chick is preferable to living on the streets. I was having this conversation with a friend many years ago and she was talking about how she, she it cracks her up to see dudes with women that they don't want to be with. And I, I, I had to think about that. I was like, why would you do be with a woman that he don't want to be with? Hobosexuals. The hobosexuals in Atlanta are epic. Right now, you have so many dudes here living with a chick, driving her car, eating their chicken, because they can't live on their own. The homosexuals in Atlanta, they are fierce. I actually went to dinner and saw a homosexual relationship. I went to the Atlanta fish market during the pandemic. They business is booming there. And they have valet parking. And I see this dude who is he, he muscular. He looks like he should be in the NFL. He's muscular, about 6'2", 230-ish. And he with this chick, she's not ugly, but she's a little chunky. She's cute, but she's a little chunky. And it looks like she's older than he is. She gives the valet the key. She gives the valet the key. Then the, the, she comes up, it's a nice BMW. And next thing I know, he's jumping in the driver's seat. Remember, she gave the valet the key, but he jumping in the driver's seat. He driving her car. He's a hobosexual. Like I said, many of these fat chicks about to get some nice dudes because they got some chicken, some cheese, some pretzels, some homemade pound cake. And the homosexual outside like, ooh, that, that smell good. So if you're a fat chick with a good government job, stable benefits, live on your own and you could cook, you about to come up, girl. The economy is melting down and there are many people without jobs. There are many men who are struggling. I'm here to tell you the number of hobo sexuals that are gonna be creeping is gonna be epic because here's the thing, everybody don't have family. Everyone doesn't have family that they can live with. So where does this leave the good looking, studly hobo sexual or the hot, chick who's a homosexual. They're gonna start pimping themselves. They're gonna start selling the most valuable thing that they have, which will be themselves. So if you are a man or a woman who lives on your own, and you're financially stable, the homosexuals are coming. We, we had this election, looks like Biden's gonna win. Or by the time this video come out, we will know if he's won or he hasn't won. Regardless of who gets in office, the hobo, the number of the homosexuals is going to continue to go up because times are hard. The layoffs are still over $800,000 a week. They've been like that for the last 12 weeks. Down from 6.6 .6 million a week, which was crazy. And now companies are starting to lay off middle management. The layoffs will continue. The layoffs will continue on for the foreseeable future. This is not gonna change. We got many folks who are gonna go to work today and they're gonna be told, you need to go home. Here's your pink slip. And they're gonna be sitting where they used to be sitting and they're gonna be looking because they can't afford rent. They can't afford to live on their own. They can't afford to do what they used to do. And it's gonna get dark and it's gonna get desperate and they're gonna move out their apartment into their car. 
They're gonna be living in their car. Next thing you know, they're gonna be hollering at you or LinkedIn, Bumble, whatever website they can. These homosexuals, and they're gonna be so charming. They're gonna be so nice. They're gonna be so accommodating. They're gonna be so into you. Big girl, they're gonna do your toes and massage your feet. Cause you could cook some chicken. Cause you know how to make a casserole. See, homosexuals get hungry. Homosexuals need food. You gonna see all kinds of strange new couples. I mean, you already had the sugar baby things. So that, that's been going on. You, you, you're gonna see a lot of old men with a lot of young women. The male hobosexual is very curious to me. The male hobosexual. Cause when I saw that dude hop into the driver's seat and I started to piece the puzzle together, I was like, oh, oh, this piece goes over here. This piece goes over here. Oh, he's a hobosexual. You know, while I was coming up, like if your girl was a Delta or you would never, you know, for me and my guys, we would never ever drive their car flying that sorority tag. Would never, wouldn't never, would be like, you know, if I'm in the passenger seat, she driving, that's cool. But I'm not gonna drive her car with an AKA or Delta tag on it. Hobosexuals don't care. So the hobosexual gonna move in your house, eat your chicken, drive your car, and oh, let me go ahead and say this. They're gonna give you some of the best pipe Ever. Homosexuals will be working to maintain their status. You're not gonna have no problems without a homosexual. You say, Ed, take out the trash. Yes, ma'am. Homosexuals don't talk back. Homosexuals don't cause no problems. Homosexuals are highly agreeable. So if you are a single person with that lives alone and you're financially stable, they're gonna be targeting you. They're gonna be looking at you. They're gonna be telling you how good you look in your little green jacket. They're gonna be like, wow, you, you really look good. You really nice. They, they, they're gonna be feeling you. They're gonna be on you. They're gonna be coming. These hobosexuals, they got an agenda. And their agenda is to move in with you. You're gonna be getting these sweet, sweet, sweet texts. You're gonna be getting all kinds of loving and affection. You're gonna to be told how great you are. They're gonna rub your shoulders. They're gonna massage your, your swollen ankles. You about to see some stuff. Because I, I was thinking about sitting down doing this topic and it came to me when I was working out because I was listening to uh, another YouTuber and I call it the revolution, the revolution of the homosexuals. Because the number of people who cannot facilitate living on their own is epic right now. It is epic. It is all time high. It is crazy what is going on right now. And I want you guys to understand and I want you guys to know and I want you guys to be aware. This is an informational video about the tactics of the hobo sexual who's in your kitchen eating your cold chicken cause they hungry. They got a rumbly in the tumbly. Next thing you know, your chicken gone. All you got is bones in the bowl cause the hobo sexual went in there. Now the hobo sexual, he gonna start playing some of that Marvin Gaye, some of that Luther Vandross, some of that old Isley Brothers, some of that old Earth, Wind and Fire to get you in the mood. Cause the hobo sexual is ready to take a nap. But before the hobo sexual takes a nap, he gotta make sure that you get off. You gonna get your toes curled. You gonna get your back blown out. Hobo sexuals put in work because they need a place to stay. <laughs> they don't want to be homeless. It's about to be winter. It's about to be cold in these streets. And the hobo sexual knows if you are an independent person that lives alone, that has money, that has stability, they're coming for you. The hobo sexuals are not playing. The hobo sexuals are in this game to win it. They're not playing no games, man. They're not playing no games. If you have a hobo sexual, up in your crib, I want you to go below and recommend that they get 30 days to 2,500 so they can start making some money so they can get their own place and get out your house. That is if you want them to leave because once the homosexuals have institutionalized you, once they've endeared themselves to you, you might not want that homosexual to leave. You might, you might want the homosexual to stay around. You might want the homosexual to be your man or be your girlfriend. And you know what? Homosexuals are highly agreeable. They got needs. This could work. This could happen. It's amazing what's going on. But this is just a sign of the times. Go below, get 30 days, 2,500. 
to help your hobosexual out, to get your hobosexual on the right game plan. Help your hobosexual out, because your hobosexual gonna be up in your house, eating your chicken, eating your pork chops, eating your pound cake. Hobosexuals get hungry. They get hungry. That's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next video. Ha, ha, ha.